Swati Nakshatra. Swati Nakshatra is a very interesting nakshatra from the perspective that this is a nakshatra which represents simultaneously union and freedom. And so quite often people who have a lot of uh, prominent placements in the nakshatra of Swati or uh, people who have uh, their moon in Swati or uh, let's say Rahu in Swati or even more let's say uh, Rahu conjunct a particular planet and both of them in Swati. These individuals quite often in life, they're going to encounter a lot of uh, challenges when it comes to the area of relationships. Relationships in some way, be it personal relationships, business relationships or, uh, uh, you know, relationships in general, as in the ability to uh, have conversations, have lasting relationships and connection with individuals. These individuals quite often encounter a lot of difficulties, struggles, uh, tough challenges in those areas, in the tough lessons. And that's not because, uh, you know, as quite often these individuals, they might come across as quite free spirited, right? I talked about this in the previous video as well about uh, uh, Chitra Nakshatra, Chitra, Swati and Mrigashira. These three Nakshatras, they have quite a bit of, uh, you know, this energy of being free spirited not wanting to be bound in a traditional sort of a relationship. Make no mistake, these people are great lovers. They can be quite dedicated. It's just that something in them doesn't really feel that they are meant to just settle down and be at one place and do one thing and grow old and, uh, you know, uh, follow that sort of a trajectory. These individuals constantly feel that we are meant to explore, we are meant to do more, we are meant to do this, do that. The, the dichotomy here, however, is that in Swati Nakshatra, this Nakshatra is ruled by Rahu and at the same time, uh, the deity of this Nakshatra is the wind god, Pavandev. It's a very free-flowing Nakshatra where the individual constantly seeks out relationships. They constantly feel that they want the fulfillment that comes from a relationship. But quite often, uh, they get into relationships and they don't find it. Okay? Depending on where this nakshatra is placed in your chart and which planet is placed, you know, it could reflect relationships in that particular area of your life. So what do you do? If you have Swati nakshatra prominent in your chart or if you have your moon in Swati nakshatra, you need to understand that freedom is a priority for you even though you may not feel it. Even though you may be like, no, I love this person. Or let's say, I love this job. I'm ready to make these compromises. I don't care. That's fine. I'll make it work. You will not be able to do that. Because the moment you start letting go of your personal freedom, you start becoming dissatisfied. And that dissatisfaction sort of rubs up uh, energetically on the people around you. And then, you know, that creates a domino effect where those relationships uh, stop uh, working out and such. Okay. Number one is to value your personal freedom. And number two is to also understand that you will only be able to receive your personal freedom. You will only be able to get your personal freedom if you give the other person freedom as well. Also, it is only when you value other person's uh, boundaries, other person's freedom of choice, of movement, of living life the way that they want, only then will you also be able to embody that energy in your life. So if you have this nakshatra and life is not working out well for you, let me tell you, my friend, any relationship that makes you feel bound, that makes you feel stuck, that makes you feel like... Uh, you know, that, that, that you're being, uh, how do I exactly put it? There's a, there's a word for it. Any relationship that makes you feel suffocated, let go of those relationships. Okay. Now, uh, there's another, another interesting aspect of uh, the nakshatra of Swati. The nakshatra of Swati is great for business, is great for building alliances. This is a great nakshatra in terms of forming connections with a large uh, you know number of people these people can be social leads these people can be social media influencers these people can be your travel vloggers okay 
In fact, quite often you will see people who have their names starting with the, the alphabet T. Quite often they also embody this energy. I'm going to get more into this when I make successive parts of these nakshatra series, yeah, diving deeper and deeper into each nakshatra. I just felt like sharing it, uh, you know, even though I haven't for other nakshatras here, that a lot of the aspects of a nakshatra's energy can also be seen in its expression in terms of the syllable that corresponds to that nakshatra. You will quite often see people who have the name starting with T. They embody quite a bit of uh, this Swati energy. Depending on what planet is placed here, this can mean something with respect to how you're channeling, how you're expressing this energy. Okay. Let's say you have Rahun Swati. Rahun Swati is an energy where if you are asleep to the need that your soul feels to build connections, to build an audience, to travel, to be free, uh, you know, to, to be a maverick in life. If you're unconscious with that energy, this is a, this is a placement which is going to definitely give you a lot of uh, cheating, a lot of uh, backstabbing in relationships and business, etc. Because Rahu in Swati will amplify his energy, Swati, Swati being ruled by Rahu. This is uh, the placement of a native who is meant to be a socialite, who is meant to be a business person, who is meant to be an entrepreneur, okay? Who is meant to be, let's say, a social media influencer. Let's say you have Saturn in Swati. Saturn in Swati is going to create a situation where the native is quite often going to find him or herself as stuck in relationships, not able to move. You know, quite often I have seen that these are individuals who married early in life. Let's say even they, they married out of love. You know, they completely they fell in love, they decided to settle down. They had a family, they had kids. And eight to ten years later, they realized, shit. It's not that I don't love my family. It's just that I'm realizing now that what would have been the best thing for me is, let's say, uh, you know, to settle in um, Nordic countries and uh, I don't know, you know, practice an, an alternate sort of a lifestyle. Okay. So these kind of uh, revelations quite happen or, you know, take place when you have Saturn placed in any nakshatra. It's the, it's the practicality that hits the energy of that nakshatra. And then you have to learn to deal with it. But Saturn and Swati <coughs> can also make a great uh, business person, can also make a great um, finance professional. Okay. Even a great uh, PR professional. Okay. Let's say you have Mars in Swati. Mars in Swati can sometimes show an individual who tends to be reckless with relationships. Because look, Mars is an energy which is very um, individualistic. Swati is an energy which seeks connection but also freedom. When you put Mars in Swati, this individual, you know, they, they have kind of a hit and miss kind of a relationship with relationships in their life. They get an intuition, okay, this is a person who I think I probably should work with. Everybody's telling me not to work with him, but I want to work with him. And let's say that relationship works out very well. You end up making millions together. But on the other hand, it can also happen that this person, you know, uh, thinks that, okay, this is an individual that I should work with and that individual ends up backstabbing them. It couldn't quite also, uh, you know, happen that uh, this person lets go of a chance to work with someone, a client or an individual or a relative and that individual ends up doing great in their career and they realize, shit man, maybe I should have taken a chance with that. So, Mars and Swati can give quite a bit of a gambler-like energy with, uh, with respect to relationships, with respect to taking chances on people. Okay. Now, uh, in the same way, let's say, you know, you have Moon and Swati. The moon and Swati will obviously mean that this nakshatra is going to be a huge part of the theme of your life, be a huge part of the theme of how you perceive life. Okay, because your mind is working in that fashion. If you have moon and Swati, your mind by default works in a way where you know that none of us is as strong as, strong as all of us. You know that in order to move ahead in life, I need to collaborate. You know that I want to do my own thing in life. But I also want to learn how to collaborate with individuals. It's just a part of your personality. And obviously, if you have Moon in Swati, you'll be born in Rahu Mahadasha. So the early part of your life 
provided all other planets are you know, well placed uh, can be uh, a very fertile period of your life in terms of relationships in terms of travel in terms of adventures okay so this is just a brief analysis of the nakshatra of swati that i wanted to share with you guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up Subscribe to this channel so that you can share the rest of all the wonderful content that I post here. Push the bell icon so that you can be notified every single time I post. If you want a personal session with me, you can check out the booking link given here in the description box. It's going to take you to my website. From there, you know, you can fill a form, uh, reach out to me. I'll get back to you with a date time. We can take it further from there. Thank you so much.